What's going on YouTube? My name is Michael Mitchell, AKA Dollar Mike. I'm back at it again with another video. And in today's video, this is actually gonna be my, a little bit over one year, but one year review of the Acorns app. So let's see how far I've gotten in one year or a little bit over it on the Acorns app. Let's get right into it. I don't like wasting your time. <laughs> All right, so we are back. I'm on my phone, so let's get right into it by opening up the app. Signing in, and good afternoon, Michael. Boom, there we go. So right there, we got about 14.55. If we actually gonna, we're actually gonna go in and actually click on um, invest in your future, and we're not gonna pay attention to the later account right here for the time being. We're not gonna pay attention to that. We're actually gonna go to the core account because that's what we're mainly talking about in this video. So basically this is it. So about after about a year of saving, I actually have saved $1,185.47 using the Acorns app and using my portfolio settings as moderately aggressive. My roundup settings are on auto, so that means it'll just automatically take the money out once it rounds up to the nearest dollar. You know this if you watch my Acorns video. If you didn't, definitely check that video out and you know you can change the dollar thing here okay and i also have on top of roundups i also have twenty dollars a month and it comes out on the 27th of each month so that's that here's the actual performance breakdown and i actually had more well of course it would be more money than this as you, as you can see it's a little drop here towards the end um can i hover over that yeah so around like april to may it's a little drop there that drop is there because um i took i think 200 dollars out to pay off my credit card i wanted to have it paid off before i made a big purchase so that's that's the reason that's like that you can take the money out anytime you please of course obviously that's why i did it and yeah but as you can see from the beginning i mean i've been doing this since what about september let's go back to september 1st initial investment was somewhere around 36 dollars and that was September 1st of last year. We go way up to about April 29th of this year and we're at 13.51.91. That is, as you can see there, a 7% gain or over 7% gain. It would be a little bit more if I kept that $200 in there, but that's how much we're getting from that. Um, overall, the total gain or loss I had, or total gain and loss I had was a little bit over 6%, so that's great. And once again, this is all from just rounding up my money. So essentially, if you don't understand the concept of rounding up, definitely check out my last video, but I'm gonna go over it again. Basically, I will load up round roundups. You can see here, I saved $805.83 from roundups. And essentially that means when I go and buy something, uh, all, all that happens is my, whatever I buy, the prices round up to the nearest dollar. So whatever is left over in spare change goes straight into acorns. All that spare change goes straight into acorns. Once it does that, you can see like all my roundups here. Once it does that, everything is invested into an ETF, which is basically um, a stock fund where it invests all the money into, into multiple stocks, depending on what your portfolio is set at. So as you can see here, I got some from the movies, Amazon Prime membership, um, Adam tickets. So like if, for instance, if you have, you know, like this one here, the Adam tickets one June 5th. If you have um, a total that equals like, of course, straight, no no change or anything, it was around a dollar, a, total, a whole dollar. But if you have something like, let me see, June 4th at Best Buy, 13, I mean, 31.86, that 14 cents left that'll get it to $32 goes into Acorns. And then of course, of course, you know, if you watch my last video, of course, you know, my last Acorns video, check it out. If you round up, if you, the roundups only um, round up to the, they round to five dollars essentially so you don't have to worry about here at the top where it says waiting to be invested you don't have to worry about them taking a random amount of money out of your bank account like 21 cents 20 cents 59 cents one cent something like that all that is taken out once it hits five dollars and every time it hit five dollars or more it'll take the money out so let's go back real quick you can actually also turn up turn on round up multipliers which essentially will do what you wanted to do essentially like if I was getting 50 cents and change from somewhere, I could turn on the times two multiplier and that would make it 
a dollar instead of 50 cents. You only obviously do this if you have the money to do it. You can make it times three, times 10. I'm pretty sure you can change it to whatever you want, but those are just the ones sitting right there in that area. So if we, and you can also, of course, invest one time, do a one-time investment of 10, 15, uh, 25, $50, whatever, or anything you wanna invest in. You can be, has to be a minimum of $5, but it can be anything you want, it doesn't really matter. And this is a little breakdown of the last 30 days. So you can see here I save $49 in the last 30 days. That is uh, $20 from the reoccurring and $29 from the roundups. And I actually get money back from in dividends, which essentially is the stocks that you own or the stocks that you basically own from the ETFs that you're investing in when this money goes into this account. Um, if you own the share of the stock, the, sh the share, the uh, company will actually pay out dividends to your account every single time or I think quarterly about when they'll have, you know, um, I guess quarterly um, meetings, whatever, they'll pay out those dividends to your account. So that automatically gets reinvested into your Acorns account, therefore giving you more gains, more money. And yeah, that's about it. Like I said before, you can withdraw at any time you need to withdraw. And that's pretty much about it. I mean, Acorns is really good for just essentially saving money. Like, I mean, if you can, if you can, you can do the same thing. You can put all this money into a, um, Bank of America savings account like I have, or any savings account, doesn't really matter, but you'll never receive any type of return like this. You might, the same amount of money that I put in this account, if I put in just a normal savings account, I might receive a return of like, I don't know, 15 cents. But here you can see I have a return of $96. So, and this is not even a longer period of time. It's not like I was saving this money for 20 years. I've been saving this money for a little bit over a year. So clearly there's plenty of value here. Um, the later, the acorns later, I'll make another video for that, but it's essentially the same thing as retirement. You can't touch that money until you actually retire or you'll have to, um, if there'll be uh, tax penalties and whatnot. But I mean, that's essentially it. There's also plenty more where you can make more money with acorns by simply, let's go down here to found money, earn found money. You can earn even more money with acorns through um, just buying stuff. So, Essentially, you can go here, buy stuff. So if, essentially, if I went to Starbucks and I bought something for $20, um, I would get 5% back of that $20. Same thing with Arcadia Power, Postmates, Uber, when you're taking a Uber uh, trip, uh, Adidas, 2% back, BarkBox, sure. If you become an Uber driver, if you're not already an Uber driver and you become an Uber driver, they'll give you $30. Gamefly, $5 if you sign up for Gamefly, I'm assuming. Uh, Tommy John, I'm assuming you just buy some clothes, you get $10 or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but they have plenty, plenty, plenty of different type of ways to make extra money. As you can see, I only did it like one time. I should use it more often, but used it for Groupon one time. I think I got like 10% back or something like that. So the Groupon was like $110 or something like that. And I got a dollar 10. So, I mean, that little dollar 10, it's like, whatever, you know, it goes into your core account. But over time, of course, if you're going to keep using this stuff. I mean, there's plenty of good deals on here. You, you go to these places all the time. I know you do. At least when you go to one of these places enough that you can get some money back. So all that adds up and all of that goes all up into your core account, which, you, like I said before, you can take it out at any time you want. If you would like for me to make a video on the Acorn spin, I will because I do have the Acorns card. I don't use it much, but I can definitely get right back into it. I'm trying to show you guys. There we go. So, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the video. That's me after one year. That's my portfolio. My portfolio is set at moderately aggressive. So that means it's 38% going into large company stocks. Small company stocks is 14%. Emerging stocks is 4%. Real estate stocks is 8 Government bonds is 10 corporate bonds is also 10. You can change that to aggressive, moderate, moderately conservative, or conservative, depending on what, uh, depending us on uh, essentially what you wanna do with the money, how long you wanna have the money sitting in your account, how old you are, but they'll ask you those questions when you actually sign up to make an Acorns account and they'll recommend one to you. You do not have to use it. I changed mine, I think once, I had it set to moderately conservative, I believe, and I wasn't seeing much returns at all, and I wasn't really worried about any risk, so I set it to moderately aggressive, and since then, it's been going straight up, and I have no issue with it. So if you wanna see more videos on Acorns, just let me know. If you wanna see you know, more videos on the Acorns later, or the Acorns spin, which is like essentially a debit account for your Acorns account, then just let me know. 
leave a like on this video. If you like the video, you leave a dislike. If you didn't like the video, drop a comment down in the comment section. If you have any questions, I mean, hit the subscribe button, obviously hit the notification bell. Obviously, if you want to see more of this content, because I'll have plenty more to show, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, definitely hit that subscribe button. I, I see that 90% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So definitely hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.